All right, so now we're starting the conversions. We're just tearing this bike apart here, but we've already started on these bikes here. Um, our suggestion and what's working out for us is to just completely remove the triangle on the back end. Reason being is if you decide to take these bikes from a 36 to a 48 volt system, the 48 volts is a much bigger motor. And so the 48 volt system, as you can tell here, this was the motor that was originally stalled into the bike and this is the motor that we're putting in. So you can tell that it's a much bigger motor. So therefore in order for it to fit we have to make some modifications. Come back over to this wheel here. This is the original mounts. The motor goes into these holes here and that hole there and this hole here in the front and then the gears come around here. What we've started to do and we'll let you know what's going to happen with it is we've actually gone to the effort of removing and cutting off all these engine mounts that were previously on there. Those are all have been removed. You can see this one's even gone here. If you notice here too we even had to hack out a little bit of the the frame here and the support to get that motor to fit. That motor is so big that it fits right in here and the motor doesn't fit because of this bar here and this bar here so the motor has to come forward a little bit so you have to account for that with cotton out a little bit of that bar and then due to the length of the chain and the fact that this bigger motor has to sit more forward that means we have to account for that uh, distance being changed there so we've also come back to the back here and as you can see there we've notched a little bit of that uh, frame here get it to focus we've notched a little bit of the frame coming forward and we've done that on both sides so that that way the back wheel move forward just a quarter of an inch is all we needed so it'll okay this is what uh, we opted to do we've got the side bracing here because we cut out the original brace here we have another side brace over here. These are the new motor mounts here. They're going to hold the motor in place. And then we added just another strap right here just to help give it a little bit of support because that's right where the, the suspension hooks into. And so we just wanted to give a little bit of extra support um, just to help these guys out. So that's what we chose to do. So that'll just sit right like that. You can tell that the motor is actually hanging off uh, onto the frame just a little bit on this side due to the size of the motor. But it just sits in right like that.